Guys, I got slammed pretty recently, um, a few days ago from some BYD fans. They saw a headline, didn't watch the video, saw a headline, decided it was clickbait. Um, they said I was clickbaiting everyone. Of course, if you're a BYD fan and you don't like the headline, that might be what you're more likely to say, whether or not it's true. But you know what? Clickbaiting has reached a whole new level with this latest article from Electric claiming that tens of thousands of staff at Tesla's factory in Texas are about to be fired because Tesla doesn't have enough demand for the Cybertruck. Um, what? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Um, yeah, this is a whole different level of clickbait, isn't it? When you try and tell people, well, when you make make out with a straight face that there's one, not enough demand for the Cybertruck, even though it's sold out for the year, and two, tens of thousands of staff at Tesla's factory in Texas are about to be fired based on what report? I don't know. Apparently there's a rumor from some Tesla employees, therefore it's worth reporting on. Now, yeah, Electric is saying Tesla have announced to Gigafactory Texas employees it will shorten Cybertruck production shifts amid rumors that it's preparing for a round of layoffs. Apparently, there's not enough demand for the Cybertruck. That's what's been basically put right in the center of Electric's article. Here's what they've said. They've got a quote here. The only new model in Tesla's lineup doesn't have sufficient demand to run all the shifts. Uh, basically, Electric are highlighting this belief that there is not enough demand for the Cybertruck. Factory Texas are about to be fired because Tesla have chosen to make the Cybertruck instead of the Model 2 as their priority, uh, number one. And number two, there's not enough demand for the Cybertruck. I mean, Tesla's going to have to slow down production because none of people are actually putting in order. That's what they said. They're talking about layoffs as high as 20% of the workforce. This would mean tens of thousands of employees. I mean, tens of thousands, does that mean 20,000, 30,000, 40,000? The way they've worded this, it's like they're saying basically Gigafactory Texas is going to shut down tomorrow. It's so drastic. Then they say the rumors come after Tesla angered employees with delayed performance reviews and price bumps earlier this year. Price bumps. They don't explain what that means. What's a price bump? How does that affect employees? I have no idea. They go on to say, they also come after Tesla had quite a disastrous quarter with a year-over-year -year reduction in deliveries, a disastrous quarter. Then they follow it up with this paragraph. The automaker has been consistently adding cars to its inventory over the last year. So over the last year, Tesla's just added cars to its inventory over the last 12 months. I mean, I follow Tesla fairly closely, not as closely as some fans, but um, that's news to me as well. At the current prices, I'm surprised how much demand there is. I mean, Tesla's charging way more than they said, $120,000 for a foundation series or $100,000 for a foundation series dual motor. Yeah, that's pretty pricey. But even at those high prices, inflated prices, Tesla still say that they've sold out for the year. And as a result, we just saw a Cybertruck sell for $265,000 US dollars at auction. I'm pretty confident that of the 2.2 million pre-orders Tesla have, they can convert at least some of those to orders. And I'm pretty confident that demand for the Cybertruck is not a problem yet. Maybe it will be in a year or two, but right now, I really don't think so. Now, what has really happened at the gig factory in Texas? Something has happened that's true. There's been a part supply issue. So Tesla has had to pause Cybertruck production um, for a few days, maybe even a week. Uh, it's true that a lot of owners haven't been able to pick up their Cybertrucks. They've had um, those orders, those delivery dates delayed. And it's to do with a some sort of part in the Cybertruck that, that Tesla have had problems with sourcing. Apparently that's gonna take about a week to sort that out. And that's probably all this story actually is.